TYT Investigates has broken another story uh, of great import that gives you a sense of how the people in Washington get rich off of us. Um, now, Alex Kane and Matt Cunningham reporting here that TYT has learned that the brother of White House Office of Management and Budget Director Mick Mulvaney, an architect of the GOP tax plan, is a portfolio manager for the secretive investment arm of Apple Incorporated, which under the tax plan stands to gain a bigger windfall than any other company. That is literally true, I'll share the numbers with you in a second. So who is this brother of Mick Mulvaney? Let's find out. Mulvaney's brother Ted has been a portfolio manager for Browburn Capital, Apple's wholly owned investment firm for at least 10 years. According to previous reporting about Brayburn, during that period, he and his wife donated $24,900 to his brother, makes four congressional campaigns. Now look, he gives money to his brother's campaign. I don't think a lot of people are surprised by that. Now if there's no quid pro quo, no problem at all. And now we at least have the appearance of a conflict of interest here, where his brother then helps to pass a tax plan, which is going to give him a lot more money to invest in his company and potentially make his brother a lot more money. So to give you a sense of the scale here, according to a 2013 report by The Guardian, Brayburn manages the profits that Apple reports through its Irish subsidiaries. Now that's really relevant because what Mulvaney is engineering is a repatriation tax holiday in essence, so that you could take the money from things like the Irish subsidiaries and bring them back into America at a lower rate and save billions of dollars, which Brayburn would be involved with and then would later invest some of the proceeds as well. And a local Apple Incorporated subsidiary, Brayburn is, is responsible for investing Apple's $200 billion of cash. It's actually over that number. So we're talking about a lot of money here that is at stake. Now it is convenient if your brother is the one making the plans that will get you some more of that money. Now, um, does uh, Mick Mulvaney though really know what his brother does? Maybe he does, they show up at Thanksgiving, but they don't really know what they're up to, right? No. In a May 2017 C-SPAN interview, Mick Mulvaney referred to his brother Ted and said, he quote, manages money for Apple computer. So uh, the budget director is perfectly aware of what his brother does and how much he would stand to gain from the plan that Mick Mulvaney is pushing today. So, well, let's then ask the next question. Is Mulvaney really that involved in the GOP tax plan? Well, we go to Kane and Cunningham's reporting here again. From the outset, Mick Mulvaney has been a key driver of the GOP tax plan, reportedly saying that he was one of the three members of the Trump administration alongside Treasury Secretary Steve Mnuchin and National Economic Council Director Gary Cohn, tasked with developing the tax plan. So he's the one who's actually creating the tax plan. Well, that is awfully convenient. Um, and But is it really about repatriation, allowing Apple to bring this money back from the Irish subsidiaries and other places that they have? Well, Mick Mulvaney said it is about, quote, corporate tax reform, individual tax reform, and how do you repatriate earnings overseas? So crystal clear. So how much does Apple stand to gain from this? According to a new public citizen report, the GOP tax plan would let Apple repatriate an estimated $252.3 billion in overseas earnings to the US at a tax rate of 12%. Apple would save an estimated $47.1 billion, the most of any corporation. And that money very likely goes right back for Ted Mulvaney to invest further. Once again, incredibly convenient. So now what is their excuse for all this? The White House spokesperson says, quote, the conflict laws do not extend to broad government matters affecting a large and diverse group of the public, such as corporate tax reform. Further, there is no real or apparent conflict of interest between an employee's duties and the financial interests of a sibling's employer. So in other words, I mean, we're giving all the rich people tax cuts and all of the giant corporations tax cuts. So Mick Mulvaney's brother happens to be a direct beneficiary of this. And so are all the other rich people. Not that great an excuse. And 
Yes, I believe that it is a conflict of interest. Look, TYT investigates just finds out the facts and reports on them. Now, as I uh, describe the report to you, my opinion is that um, Apple is not any more evil than a any other corporation. They're not evil or good. Uh, they are amoral, they are a corporation, they're a machine, they're a robot, they're not a person. And that machine will do whatever it takes to maximize profit. Will they do a lot of lobbying to get money into the pockets of politicians? Yes, they will definitely do that and have done that at a significant scale. And TYT Investigates has covered that as well. Do other corporations also do it? Absolutely. From time to time, do some of those corporations employ the family members of the people that are coming up with these plans at the, uh, at the government? Yes, and this is one of those instances. They will, these machines will do whatever it takes to maximize profit. When we allow, as American citizens, corporations to have constitutional rights, national, uh, natural rights, endowed by their creator, inalienable rights, and the right to free speech, which we now say is the right to give money to politicians. This will happen over and over and over again. So this is yet another instance of it. If you want to stop it, you have to stop the private financing of elections. Uh, otherwise, um, this uh, won't be the last time by a long shot. And we know that it doesn't create jobs. That's another series uh, that TYT Investigates has done, uh, where Apple, for example, said they were going to create new jobs in America. Tim Cook didn't say that, uh, but they said that they would uh, start new manufacturing. Well, TYT Investigates looked into whether they did, and it turns out there is no such permit. And there are no plans for expansion to create more jobs in America. So no, this is simply to get more money into the pockets of their shareholders and their executives. And so it's one thing to be honest about that. It's another thing to say, oh, sure, sure, we'll, we'll do new investments in America. There'll be wonderful jobs created in Kentucky, maybe, uh, not so much. But will some people get rich? Yes, apparently the brother of the budget director will get fabulously wealthy off of this. Um, and. David K. Johnson is an expert in the field. He covers these financial issues and he's the founder of DC Report. Here's what he said about this specific issue. It's the job of people like Mick Mulvaney's brother to engineer the interest without running afoul of tax rules. It's yet another example of how fundamentally broken our tax system is. The Trump plan will only make things worse by effectively, retroactively cutting taxes on Apple's profits. I know why the corporations want to do it. it. As much as it is deeply troubling to the rest of us, it is a logical thing for them to try to cut their taxes to the bare minimum. What I don't know is why we allow it. They have shifted the tax burden away from corporations and onto us, the American citizens. Corporate taxes used to pay for over a third of the budget back in 1952. Now it is 10% and shrinking, and this will make it nearly minuscule. Where did it go? It went to increase payroll taxes, which the poor and the middle class pay. And in fact, the rich don't even pay it after a certain amount. So they shifted the burden of the taxes from corporations to the middle class in America. We should not allow them to do that. You have got to get money out of politics. One group working on that is wolf-pack.com. If you don't, if you like them and want to help, great. If you don't and you want to find another group, you want to find a conservative group, a progressive group, because Wolfpack's nonpartisan, go find them. Start your own group. Do whatever you got to do. But we as citizens cannot allow this fundamental redistribution of wealth out of our pockets and into the pockets of these corporations. If we let them get away with it. They will do it to us over and over. They did it during Bush in 2004, and the last time they did that tax holiday for corporations. By the way, did you get a tax holiday? I didn't get one, but corporations keep getting one almost every decade. The last time they did a tax holiday for this repatriation of, of cash, the amount of money they spent on lobbyists, they got a 24,000% return on investment. Corporations do not give to politicians out of charity, they do it for a return on investment. The first time they give a corporation, they're taking a gamble on that. Uh, I'm sorry, when they give to a politician. The second time they give to a politician, it is not a gamble. They have already gotten their return on investment. And now they're back for more, billions more. Help us build independent media, become a member of the Young Turks. 
trtnetwork.com slash join.